this is Corinne Wickens, and I am from Northern Illinois University. The name of my insights essay is Gender Matters for Literacy Research Organizations. In this essay, I address the sociological economic ramifications of the shift in gender membership of literacy research organizations from predominantly male to predominantly female. This shift is part of a broader shift in post-secondary degree attainment in which the number of women attaining doctoral degrees has outpaced men. There are two points in the essay that are especially important. First, the notion of occupational prestige, and two, occupational gender devaluation. First, occupational prestige is the social and material value such positions are accorded, most notably identified through their corresponding salaries. Then second, occupational gender devaluation results from decreased salaries because women disproportionately work in those fields. Thus, ironically, both occupational prestige and value decrease as the number of women increase significantly in a given field. In fields like literacy research, the devaluation has a double disadvantage, lowered earnings because the field is currently dominated by women, and lowered earnings because women tend to earn less than men. Then when race ethnicity is added onto gender, this double disadvantage increases exponentially as black women earn 83% of their white female counterparts, and Hispanic women, 69%. This brings me to the broader questions I pose for literacy researchers and literacy research organizations. If occupational prestige and valuation both decline from a significant increased share of women in the field. Where does that leave literacy researchers, both women and men? Furthermore, what impact does the devaluation hold in regards to the impact of that research among policymakers and other external constituencies? So I call our national organizations to wrestle with these important challenges. In the column, I present a few possible points to renew important conversations about the ongoing role of gender at work in literacy research organizations.